Strap on your socks because they're about to be blown right off by another great episode of Creative Suite TV. Here's your host, Mike McHugh. Hi everyone, it's Mike McHugh and welcome to another fantastic episode of Creative Suite TV. It's great to see you all again, hopefully. Uh, we will have another stellar episode. Well, I've been inspired this week by the fantastic Russell Brown from the world famous Russell Brown show on Adobe TV or tv.adobe.com. And we're going to be having a look at 3D in Photoshop CS4 Extended. That's right, 3D. And we're going to use some 2D images to start off with and then create a 3D scene. Just real quick, if you want to know more about creating 3D and working with 3D in Photoshop CS4 Extended, I would highly recommend Mr. Russell Brown's podcast video TV show on, on tv.adobe.com, The Russell Brown Show. It's truly awesome. I, however, am going to use some images of a crocodile, which I took in the Daintree River here in Australia. So as you can see, um, these ancient creatures really do deserve to be in 3D, don't they? So I'll just zoom back out so you can see. This is one of the shots that I took. Um, and then you can see over here, I have another one of the crocodile leaping out of the water. So what I um, have already gone and done is cut these guys out and then put them on to layers. So we're going to convert uh, the crocodile, the water, and the grass that you see there into separate layers and then convert them into 3D. And that's really not that difficult. So we'll come over to the document that I've already created and you can see on the layers here that I've created a water layer. So we got rid of the crocodile out of the middle. First of all, using the content aware scale. Okay, uh, we create a selection and then collapse that back over. The crocodile is gone. So now we just have the background. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we cut the water out and stretch it up again using the content aware scale. So that bit's done as well. We've cut the grass out, we've put the grass onto a new layer, and then we've cut our crocodile out and we've put the crocodile onto a new layer. And as one added bonus, one terrifically fantastic added bonus, we've put a little bit of text in there, the crocodile text, as you can see up there, which has got that shiny metallic look about it. And why wouldn't you do that if you could? You'd be insane not to. Okay, so how do we convert these things to 3D, these 2D planes to 3D? Well, all you need to do, we'll start off with our water. Select the water layer, come up to the 3D menu right here at the top, and you can see that there is an option there that says create a new 3D postcard from layer. Okay, that seems easy enough. So we'll select that and then Photoshop will work away in the background and convert this uh, 2D layer into a 3D uh, plane that then we'll be able to tilt and, and move around and, and do a few different things to. So the idea being that Eventually, we'll be able to sandwich a few 3D layers together, put them on different angles, and then create a 3D uh, scene out of them. So that's already gone ahead and done that. Um, we'll get our 3D tool uh, from over on the 3D rotate tool from over on the left hand side over here, uh, just making sure that I've got the correct one selected. And then we have our 3D layer here, and we can then tilt it back, as you can see from that we can create a, a 3D plane. So we'll give the water uh, some depth there, okay? So if we then repeat the process with the grass here, and we'll turn the grass layer on, and we might just um, move that into position as well, it's just a matter of uh, 3D, new 3D postcard from layer, okay? So that's really quite easy. And as that works away there, it's going to put it onto a separate layer. So we'll have two separate um, 3D layers as that just goes ahead and creates a plane. So now we want to create a model after that has created the 3D layer where we connect two 
layers together or we sandwich two layers together and that's our next step. So first of all we'll put this on a tilt. So we have our grass layer, we'll put it on a slightly different tilt and now to merge two to 3D layers together all we do is select in the layers panel down the bottom the top 3D layer choosing from the pop down menu and we can simply say merge down and that will merge those two 3D layers together to create a 3D scene because they're on different angles of course um, we can join those things together and really quite easily take a take a, a 2D image and all of a sudden we've got a 3D scene. Of course in Photoshop you know you can bring in 3D models and that, that's from a, a 3D package but this is for those people that are just working with 2D images uh, today. So there's our 3D layer I'm going to go ahead and select the 3D tool here um, and we should be able to tilt the whole thing around and lo and behold, have a look at that. That, my friends, is truly amazing. I'm amazed by that. But I'm not going to spend too much more time building this thing out because I can do it with my crocodile layer. If I want to do it with my crocodile layer, turn that to 3D. I can even do it with a text layer. For the sake of time today, I've already gone ahead and done that. So we can close this document off here um, and come to a document that I have already created a 3D layer of. Sandwich the water, sandwich the grass, sandwich the crocodile and sandwich the little bit of text um, across the top so that the whole scene can be manipulated and rotated around. And for those of you wondering um, at home, what can we do with this mic? Now that we've got this 3D scene, it's really cool. There's a lot of different things that we can actually do with it. We can actually render it out for 3D printing and we can also render it into an animation so that the scene can be turned around. It's great for doing titling or special effects and that can be translated over into After Effects as well. So I can't wait to show you the next little bit. So as you can see now, I've already gone ahead and put together all of the layers. I've sandwiched, sandwiched them together uh, just to show you. Um, we've got a new 3D panel here. We can access all of the layers individually as well. So, you know, if I wanted to reposition the text, I could select the text here. This is within that 3D group and then go ahead and select, you know, any one of the um, the 3D tools and maybe I could rotate that around inside the crocodile's mouth just to get the teeth coming through, you know? Arr, that would be uh, such a good idea. But here's where the fun is. If I want to go ahead and now render this out a number of different ways. We use the 3D scene panel. We come down to the render settings uh, right here. And the first thing that we're actually going to do is to create a lenticular print. A lenticular print. I'll show you one in just a second, but I'll turn it on um, on the screen here so that you can have a bit of a look. And it puts all of these lines all the way through it. And that's so that when we print it, we can laminate one of these uh, lenses with all the grooves on there. And it's going well, to be a bit hard to, to show you. If I hold this up to the camera, that will give you a bit of a sense of a 3D lenticular print. Hope it does anyway. So that's a lenticular print, but that's not really, that's fun, but that's not where the fun is completely because it's when we do the red, blue offset channels that it's fantastic. So hopefully you guys can quickly run out, guys and girls can quickly run out and get a pair of 3D glasses because if I zoom in on this, you will see that it now comes in 3D. I'm going to put my glasses on and have a bit of a look. What am I doing up here? I can't see anything at all. Maybe I'll hold these up to the, the camera and you can have a look. I don't think it helps. You're going to have to get your own pair of 3D Adobe branded glasses and ah, it looks fantastic. It's truly amazing. From here, we can rotate it. We can even put little key frames onto it and animate it and all that kind of stuff. But that's our 3D Crocodile. It's a fantastic episode, Creative Suite TV. Remember, if you want to learn some more, go and see Russell Brown's show on tv.adobe.com. Until next time, I'm Mike signing off. Love this, uh...